might have seen. Yeah. You see, he stuck to his guns and he changed his game plan and it worked out for him. And now we're going to game three. We're going to see what adaptations take place for a data. Yeah, going back to PS2 where he won game one. So, you know, maybe it was just a stage, maybe he just wants the bigger area to run around on. Entirely possible, yeah. And the platform layout also, like, drastically affects how bombs are going to work. Yeah. So, maybe having a bomb that can control one of the flats is big. Maybe. Like so. <laughs> now they're going to find that falling boomerang into the forward air to get a nice 40% start. Link does so much damage once he's like he was getting strong hits. Yeah, I think like the justification for that design wise is all of his hits are like slowish, so they should do a lot of damage, but then they put the nair on the character. And then they put nair. Yeah, so it's like mm, I don't know if you're allowed to do that anymore, guys. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, gonna make it backstage, but not fast enough to give the F smash, but is it able to just throw an F throw? Gonna drop him on. One thing a data doesn't really do is he doesn't just do the uh, like throw the bomb down that ledge. True. Is, like, With the bouncing hitbox? Yeah. yeah. It bounces four times and has a hitbox every time. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's not aware of it, or maybe he just like doesn't think it's good or something. I don't know. Yeah. It could be maybe Mythra can force it. I'm not That's, sure why. Oh, but entirely possible. Mythra yeah. might be able to like drop down and force it through it. Or like jump from ledge force it. Yeah. Like air dodge on your way up. Yep. Now they're gonna get that back throw into the boomerang, and Malin gonna switch onto Papyra, so we'll see uh, what he's able to do with her, because, you know, we've been seeing mostly Mithra from uh, him so far. Oh, she pick up the bomb, but just throws it right into that as nothing's arms. Yeah, and just late hit of Nair. Trying to blow up the bomb on his shield, but didn't blow it up because he was shielding the bomb from the fire. Yeah. Funny enough. And before they're gonna the bomb's gonna land perfectly on lead, but then he picks it up and he's blows him up with it. But Melon very high, he should be able to make this back. And the hit gonna make it, uh, gonna stop the data from getting any hit. And the Mithra up smash gonna scoop him off the platform, just barely. Yeah, recovering at just the perfect angle to uh, not get caught by that bomb. Yeah. And now, Melon with the sock lead for first time to set, I think. I think so, yeah. No, because sock time is too, so never mind. Mm. Yeah, but oh, you're uh, right. <laughs> But Adata, not too far behind, only going to need one more good hit to uh, uh, take this last stock. Yeah. The nice thing about Link is he's always just like one hit away, especially against a character with uh, really bad recovery like Aegis. It's and a just, light character as well. Yeah. It's just really easy for him to like reversal things. Mm -hmm. As we saw in game one. We did see in game one that uh, just zero death reversal. Should be in there, down smash. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at move point, you guys like every move I could have All killed. the buttons. Ooh, bomb and a bear. I, if that up, he, he got, got a little bit uh, overzealous. Greedy, greedy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's no, bad. no jump, no jump. Okay. okay doesn't find he the downfield. just weaved around the bomb. I think you know that could have been instead of a bomb, it could have been a link dash attack. Probably would have killed. Yeah. Oh, getting caught by retreating boomerang though. Added a the Z drop bomb again into the forward area now. Ooh, the Ooh. arrow snipe. Okay, but he actually sent up higher, so it makes him have yeah, a better time recovering. I'm pretty sure without, if he didn't throw a bomb, the arrow would have just killed. Yeah, or he could have um, have tilted after the arrow. Yeah. That oh, the, oh footstool? the footstool, but like unintentionally yeah. that time. Almost onto the platform would have been really good. Down tilt, get away. That was an up air, air, what? He was ready for the air dodge, but it just didn't come. Ah. Okay, there's the, there's the dropping of that ledge, or throwing of that ledge. You know, Melon did play Smash 4, and that game was all about waiting for the air dodge, so I understand. Where that came from. Oh, stream leg? Uh oh. Oh, and Adada died bed? from the stream leg. <laughs> it, it, they're not experiencing the leg that we yeah. are, but we are definitely. Uh, I don't know what happened, but. We're seeing a cutscene right now. Slideshow. Next slide. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, Melon's dead. Next slide. <laughs> Next slide. Oh. Oh, now we just don't see anything. Turn around. Turn around, commentary. <laughs> All right. Melon is. um. Me. Melon currently edge guarding. Uh, Adada, Adada jumps the ledge. Oh, we'll switch to Pyro, trying to get a dare. Barely but dodges the Pyro in the air, yeah. And now it's about even percent. Oh, what big fair coming up from Melon there. A dare? Double down air. Went oh. for the third down air. He wanted to get some dares into the up smash, probably. Yeah, Adada blew himself up, so uh, Melon got a bit of percent lead right now. But Adada's holding center stage. Melon's jumping really high. Yeah, Adana sitting at ledge, just wants to hit like one or two projectiles, got him dragging on forward air. The jab, maybe a little bit of spaghetti coming through, but the boomerang gonna hit. Melon going back to uh, the Mithra. We're back. We're back? Alright. Alright. 
Oh, rising near. Oh, never mind. I yeah. thought he was gonna do some bomb stuff. But even gain of the forward air doesn't give us a second hit. Only the first hit of the forward air. And now Melon gonna have a chance. He has to switch to Piracy, I feel like, but he doesn't want to. Does anyone even set anything? No. Nope. <laughs> Just trying it. Trying to oh, cross right. stage. Oh, and the percents are so close, there's only two minutes left. We're not seeing a timeout, We're but not it feels so anxious. The, the oh, Nair, the Nair. Got the strong hitbox yeah. as he jumped from ledge. And that is going no. to be it. And game two, gonna go to Adata. We'll see yeah, you know a very close game. That's the closest one we've had so far. Yeah. And we'll see now what stage we go back to. We're gonna go back to PS2, so... Interesting counter pick from Melon. It was close, but he has Maybe lost both. There it is. GSS, okay. The Zero Suit I love watching so much. Zero Suit is such a hype and flashy character, and I like watching every match of her. I and he plays the best <laughs> game. So we're going to see a lot more Zero now. He's just yeah. Gonna yeah, there it is. Space. There you go. Oh. Already in danger. If you get near to ledge at this point, you are in near flip. Yeah, no, no jump. Oh, but is okay. it gonna make back? And Melon's been like, Melon's been dropping a lot of edge guards though when a dad doesn't have a jump. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. With he just that. hasn't they're been able to capitalize. Like they are. I, expect. I guess they're kind of nervous, but like, yeah. Oh, okay. Rolling towards the bomb, but the dad not picking up on it. Yeah, with the grab there. Melon is playing in a range where the bomb does him, but he's just not activated. Yeah, a dad is kind of. Focusing on just getting some good hits and rather than bomb because uh, I don't know, maybe he doesn't think the bomb hit will be beneficial. And above all else, like, he's trying to get positioning. Um, yep. ZSS is a character that's going to go all around the stage at all times. She doesn't really care where she is. But Link wants center stage. He wants to be holding that like fortress yeah. area. But, uh, so one thing opting to get better position. One really good thing that uh, Adad is going to have at ledge in this matchup now is like normally ZSS just does like flip kick from ledge and it's safe against most characters. But especially with Link's in there, it lasts so long you can't just get away from oh, it for free. Yeah. Exactly. But now, Melon has the option. Oh, okay. And he took the bomb away after. That was cute. He's the option to um, just run around and like not fight after dropping the bomb. Yeah, and now Adada going to have a bomb. He's going to try to make up the lead, but uh, Melon is just spacing out Adada so well with these airs and just rushing him down so much that Adada's not getting a chance to find this hit that he needs to kill. <laughs> yeah, and once again, he's in air flip 50%, which is really dangerous because being up two stocks here makes it almost impossible. Yeah, especially against a hit and run character like CSS. Mm -hmm. Gonna survive the bomb. Recovering also with the down. But the upper bounce then around. got got hit by the bomb as sort of bounced up into the F tilt. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That could be flashy too. He's showing. <laughs> yeah, but that are gonna be at ledge here. In the oh, holding ledge too long. Yeah. Finally catching on to that and actually hitting with the announcement. A very good weak air in the grab from Adata. I don't see uh, Melon up very much this season. I guess it's not the same. This yeah, game. well, I guess that's because uh, I doubt it's very grounded. It seems. Yeah, like unless he's jumping, he doesn't jump back, or he doesn't jump in with air, which like you don't want to challenge because that might yeah. just like hit you across the stage. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, both players just maneuvering around each other so well. Ooh, the payback paralyzer gonna catch him. Yeah, the boomerang end of a bomb, very nice from Adada. It just goes back to like what I mentioned in game one. Like Adada is like so heavily relying on like bomb setups. Yeah. But yep, smack. Oh no, it's not good. He's gonna get that there in the corner though. Exactly what Link is looking for. Yeah, Link. Yeah, and finds a second hit for there. Adada only gonna need one more stock. Moving to winner side top eight. Yeah. Melon's gonna play super safe. Yeah, guys, by the bomb and towards the lead, but. Ooh, but the side beam. Side beam, just barely not gonna kill. I'm about to oblige, but no punish. I'm about to. Oh, but the wave bounce side. He's still not gonna kill ZSF. Sucks <laughs> as far as we see. Yeah, but now I mean. Love that. We're finally taking them. Yeah, and now then, we're in a last stock situation in game four. Yeah, Melon just, just played, Mel just played so time. well dodging yeah, a data though. That whole time he was trying to find that last stock. So he didn't take that much percent before taking the stock. Yeah, it was like 9%. Yeah, yeah we're breaking it's even game now. Yeah, and ZSS has a lot of niche cheese options. Yeah, the Nair flip pick, which yeah. starts working about now, maybe a little bit more percent. Yeah, and now it'll work. Um, and then also, when he gets a little bit higher percent, around 100, he can do fair one. So he has two yep. different ways that a uh, random aerial can end the game. Yeah, and that is, I mean, we're kind of seeing now, that is playing like a little bit more closer to the center stage. 
But uh, I mean, just going back to ledge, he just wants to keep Melon out. Doesn't want to let uh, him get one of his random aerials so I can combo with a flip kick. And now that he's in the corner, it's like a lot harder for him to deal with CSS pressure. He's very, very safe on shield too. Mm -hmm. There's a forward air. Melon is going to try and get rid of the bomb here. Yep. He doesn't want that to have the chance to use it. And the back air should take it. Tag yep. That is going to be the and now we're going to a game game. five. So game five, the character switch working out very well for Melon. Able to take that game. And we're going to run it back to PS2. For all the closest games that happened. Wow. This is it. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, maybe it was just a surprise switch character. Maybe, or maybe it had the time to adapt now, or uh, might just see if it's a character that should have went the full time. There's also the factor of Melon's a little bit more work out now. He's getting some confidence from winning the game. Like he's definitely feeling better going into this one than he yeah. was with the desperation pick with last game. And that is starting us off great. Though. Nice 73%. Yeah, that's exactly in the position he wants to be in. But uh, Melon with that bomb, gonna get rid of it. But Adada just gonna jump back and uh, fair, not gonna connect. Oh, but there's the up air finally tagging. And Mike, so many. No up yeah, oh, but this is a kill. No, it's not. No, fair to oh, Zare. Oh, Zare. But there oh, it is oh, again. Mel Melon's the dropping the edge guard. All he could do the first time he hit the stun was do a down beat, and it would have true combo and kill. Yeah. But um, I guess he wasn't confident in the angle or something. But it's like a bread and butter as he has just hitting the, the down smash and then uh, getting the, the foot stool down. Yep. 4% for uh, Melon, though. Yeah, but for reverse boomerang, gonna have a bomb. Gonna be, give uh, Dada some good positioning into parry, but no follow up. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, but he uh, managed to shoot. Fair, okay. fair on shield, but no punish. But it's just the air dodge. I don't know what's going on. I got a little bit of spaghetti here. Oh, the, the air shield is gonna kill. That's gonna be the first one going to Melon in this game five. Yeah, Dada had a little bit of spaghetti there and wasn't able to take his off, but the weak hit of Uppy. Yeah, I tried to confirm Sarah to dash back, but didn't quite get it. Oh, got a light first. Yeah, good job, and Link's job, oh, the Link's job looks like it should knock back so much farther. It looks like it should be a kill move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got a jumping. Second hit pair. Yeah, catching Melon, trying to go for a paralyzer shot. Yeah. ZSS has to jump constantly, so going for constant aerials against her to air to air, especially if we have sword, it's just so effective. Mm -hmm. Or just nair. <laughs> And something I also want to see Adada do more is um, the diagonal boomerang angles, because that will bounce back up and cover all the airspace that Mel wants to, like that, yeah. that Mel wants to uh, occupy. And he's catching on that he can use other things other than just fair to stuff out when Mel just jumps. Yep. Oh, but there's the berry, though. The berry is kill. up, he should kill, unless he falls out, which he no, didn't. No, that is it. You don't generally follow that move if it's, like... Connected properly. Oh, yeah, and Melon full stock lead now, basically. Yes, and his character is so fast and Link is so slow, it's gonna be really hard for Dada to make any sort of. Yeah, comeback. especially like. Unless he does that. You know, oh I've been playing so well, but like just the way he plays is like hard to make comebacks. Mm -hmm. Might have to change up his place on this last stock here, but it could be Ooh, risky. Almost, yeah. Oh, we wanted that nair flip kick. Oh no, nope. not quite the percent. I think he was too far from ledge for it to work. Fair, fair. King back to safety, but once again, gonna mess up an edge guard. Not that it's easy to edge guard Link, but not at all. Oh, oh but is that a drop of shield? Is that gonna kill? Yeah. Yes, that was a real kill screen, and Melon has won game five versus Data. Wow. Moving on to winners top eight. That was a good set.